Hey everybody, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys and I have a very exciting video for you today. I found another travel backpack and the most exciting thing is is that it rivals the travel backpack that I love so much and that backpack has been sold out everywhere and all of you guys keep asking me when it's coming back, why it's sold out, and is there an alternative that you love just as much? And really for the longest time I didn't know what to say. But then I was in Target and I found an alternative that I think is almost even better than the e-bags. So today I'm going to compare the two and show you the one from Target. Let's see what we think. Before we get into it, I just want to say please subscribe to our channel. Here on It's the Kellys, we travel often and pack well and just want to help you do the same. We have reviews of travel specific products. We have travel hacks and packing hacks and all things to get you to travel often as well as showcasing our trips when we do get to travel. If you have any questions that are travel related, please let me know and I am happy to answer them and even make a video for you if I think it's something that a lot of other people need to know the answer to as well. Like this video. This was a video because I got so many questions about the e-bags and an alternative to it since it wasn't in stock. Okay, so first I'm gonna quickly show you the e-bags mother load backpack. I have reviewed it on this channel before. You can check that video out right up here, but I do wanna show it in this video so that we can compare it together. I do absolutely love this bag. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think it is fabulous. The only problem that I have with it is that it is sold out and I have absolutely no idea when it's coming back. So here it is. You guys have definitely seen me travel with this one before. This is the purpley color and Brian has a gray color. And then I also have a black color that I traveled with for years before they came out with these new fun colors. So this bag is 22 inches high by 14 inches wide and then 10 inches deep. It does weigh just under four pounds all by itself and it has a ton of amazing features that I'm gonna go over real quick. So my favorite thing about this bag is that I love that it opens like a suitcase. See? You can put a lot of stuff in here and a lot of stuff in here. It does have a dedicated space for your laptop. In the front, it has this little hidden pocket right here. And then it does have this pocket in the front with a ton of organization. This is like what I call one of those Mary Poppin bags because there is so much space in here. It just keeps growing and growing and growing, which is why I love it. There is also a key leash here, which is very convenient. And a nice little pocket up top. It also has these little buckles on the side to help compress everything in. And it has a handle here, a handle here, and a handle here. It also has a side pocket for a water bottle. And these straps can get concealed in this pocket here for easier storage so that you don't always have to store it with these flopping out. It does expand, which is absolutely amazing. I can basically fit every single thing that I could fit in a hard shell carry-on bag in this bag. And now that gives me an idea for a fun challenge video. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about this bag is that it is not available right now. It is sold out and people are messaging me like crazy asking when and where they can get it or an alternative. All right, so now that you've had this introduction with this beauty, let's go ahead and check out the open story bag from Target and see how it compares. They look about the same height. However, this one is actually 21 inches tall by 14 inches wide and then 8.75 inches deep. So this one is a tiny bit smaller, although it really doesn't look like it. So just by looking at it, it definitely looks like the e-bags. This one is the exact same price. It is $119.99 and you can find it at Target, which is even better. You can do it online, but I found this literally at my local store and I've seen it at about four of my local stores. I'm surrounded by Targets and I don't mind, but my bank account probably does. 
the other good part is that it's actually available in stores as of right now so that's a perk if you're shopping for a new backpack right now because the e-bags isn't available okay so let's start with this front pocket it does open up about halfway not all the way down and it does have all of these little organizational pockets as well as a key leash just like on the e-bags and this pocket is actually kind of velvety smooth now at first i thought that was it for the organization in the front and i was not impressed however then i saw that this part here opens up and has even more storage which to me is incredible you've got this little zippered mesh pocket here for easily accessible items you have this which looks like it's for a laptop but is actually kind of shallow extra little pocket here and then this goes really deep in here let's finish up with the outside of the bag real quick it does have a handle up top here and a handle on the side here it does have the buckles on the side to help compress it down and it does have the spot in the back that you can conceal these for better storage just like the e-bags mother load it does have a nice little water bottle pocket here and then it also has a couple of other features that i find amazing on this backpack that the e-bags mother load does not have this baby on the back is padded so that when you have it on it's going to feel so much better on your back which is really important when you are traveling but the one thing that i do love about it the most is that it has this nice little pocket here that is in the back and it is rfid locked so this is a great place to have wallet credit cards passport any type of valuable so that when you are walking through the airport or through the city center or you are even on the subway or a public bus nobody can take anything from you that is valuable because you will put it in here that is a backpack feature i will always love because you don't always know what's going on behind you. The other feature that I do love on this bag that eBags does not have is a trolley pass-through so that you could easily slide this bag on top of your luggage and wheel it around. Now, obviously this is carry-on size, not personal item size, so you wouldn't really have this plus a wheel bag, hopefully, but if Brian were carrying this, like he usually does and I were carrying a wheel bag like I usually do then I can save Brian's back by putting this on top of my luggage and we can take turns wheeling it around so now let's open it up because this does have some really cool features inside so this one opens up like a suitcase as well however this has a mesh side and then this actually has two separate little packing cubes, which if you know anything about me, you know that I am pro packing cubes and this, oh, I'm literally so thrilled. It does have this nice breathable mesh, which is really nice when you're carrying around clothing. And it is pretty much just as deep as the e-bags, but it does have compression strap and on the inside here it has this little concealed long skinny pocket and it does have one on this side as well this is what brian and i brought to europe i had my own medium packing cube and he had his own medium packing cube and we shared it zip it and voila two medium sized packing cubes with still some room to spare. As for this side, like I said, they are packing cubes. So you have the breathable mesh, which is amazing. And this one opens up here. It is fairly deep and it is completely separated. You cannot go through to the other side. It could be great for shoes. It could be great for bathing suits, anything that you want to keep separately. And it does seem like it's about the same size as this packing cube. It can fit a whole packing cube. And usually the medium sized packing cube is all of my clothes for the entire trip, minus undergarments and swimsuits. I'm sold. This bag is great and very well organized. 
Now I do have to say the only con to this bag is that it does not expand, which is a bit of a bummer. However, I very rarely use the expansion feature on my e-bags because it is a backpack. And because it's a backpack, that's just going to put more weight on my back. Let's go ahead and put this on. Yes, you guys, the padding feels so good. Now I wanna go on a trip. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think the padded backpack is a little bit more luxurious and a little bit more of a like professional backpack. I do wish it came in a couple more colors. I don't always love traveling with black items only because everyone travels with black items. And so therefore, if a bunch of people set a black backpack down, you could very much pick up the wrong one accidentally. So I would probably put a whole bunch of pins or patches or something on this so that everyone could know that it is mine or at least that it is not theirs. But I think this one would be perfect for a long weekend or a trip in maybe a tropical climate where the clothes are going to be a little bit smaller and you're going to pack a little bit less. It's actually probably perfect for a European summer as well. I would definitely travel with this on one of those trips I just mentioned and probably just bring a little small purse with me for essentials to go under my seat and put this in the overhead bin up above my seat. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you are wanting to buy the e-bags bag and it is not available, this will be a very, very good alternative for you at Target. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think and if you are going to grab it. And let me know in the comments if there's anything else you guys want me to cover on this channel that is travel related. I am happy to turn your thoughts and questions into videos. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.